for everybody that keeps asking, uh, I've had a little bit of suggestive criticism on how to adjust a AUG uh, gas system. So this video, I just want to talk about it. Everybody's seen the pictures. I'll be doing a complete upgrade kit on a A3M1, but I wanted to talk about how to exactly adjust the gas system on any standard AUG. Okay, so guys, this is from 1977 to modern day, 2023. Doesn't matter what AUG you have, the gas system is going to work identically. So here's a new production barrel. This is a half by 28. You can line up. You can tell that because there's this ring right here and the short collar. And then when you take it off, it'll be half by 28. So here's your gas system. And we're going to start off in position one. This little black ball right here, that's where everything happens. This is how we're going to check for which setting we're in. So when this lines up with the small hole right here, this is position one. You can see it right here. There's a black hole. Let's see it. Twist it. You guys can kind of see there. Okay, that's position one. You're going to pull down on the tab ears. Uh, if, this, if it's hot, you can actually use a casing, a dead casing, and you can hook in the tab ears and pull it down. Or you can uh, actually use the trigger crossbar pin lock in the back of the stock to hook onto this and pull down. So we're going to pull it down. We're going to rotate one turn to the right. And you're going to see that little hole open up right there. That's position two. That is your adverse gas setting. Again, off this black ball, it lines up over here. All right. So that's position two. There's position one. Okay. Everybody always asks is about the second hole. This is the actual bleed off hole. Once the piston travels completely back, this will vent off any excess gas that's built into the system. And it doesn't matter if it's in position one or in position two. That hole, will all, you know, when you look at it, will always be solid until the piston passes. For everybody that's concerned about the bottom hole down here, I'll explain that one when we switch it over into grenade mode. So on the bottom of the barrel, you're going to see it says GR. Okay, we're going to rotate inwards towards the barrel. Two clicks. One, two. All right. This alignment rod right here is going to line up on position two. We're going to follow it around for the black ball. See it lines up on GR. And this setting right here will totally make the system work just like a bolt action rifle. You'll have to cycle it every time you fire. If you're wanting to run a suppressor and to be as quiet as possible uh, for single shot, if you're sport shooting or just need to take out that pesky armadillo, that's the best way to do it. If you want to remove the gas piston to clean it, we're going to rotate back one click till the ball lines up here on the inside and it's going to pop loose. There you go. Now we just slide out the piston or slide out the regulator. The piston is here inside. If you wish to take it out from the back side, you can take a live round and just push with the tip, push that forward, a small stick or a toothpick. The piston will come out with a spring, and you can clean out the whole gas assembly and everything. To put this back in, we're just going to line it back up, push in, off the spring, pull down the tab ears, rotate it around until it clicks. We're back into position one. So, if you guys like it, I've had, like I said, I had some uh, criticism on some previous videos of not showing this. I guess this close or into this type of detail. So I hope you guys like it. Like I said, it'll work on any AUG that's out there. So that's how it works with a standard gas plug.